Hello and welcome to day nine of this Simplify Your Life series. If you don't know what that is, I will put a link up here for you and in the description box below. But let's get started because we've got a busy day. We are sorting out the kitchen. It is a big challenge day today, but there is nothing more satisfying than a big declutter of the kitchen. You can always find something that you've not used in such a long time. It's an instant win. Also, Benjamin Franklin said, for every minute spent organising, an hour is earned. So bear that in mind when you're reaching for that pot or pan or mug in the cupboard and you're constantly having to rearrange all the items around it or take everything out just to get access to something and then put it all back again. Keep only what you want in your kitchen and make it accessible and easy and oh, I can't wait to get started. So, step one. As usual, gather all the items into one space. If you've got a small kitchen, just do it in sections, it's not a problem. But get everything out so you can see what you're working with. Now we are not talking everything in your kitchen. We're not looking at cleaning products today or bags or things like that. We're just looking at kitchen appliances, pots, pans, utensils, that kind of thing, and also consumables. So what I'm gonna to do to give you a bit of guidance, as always, is put a great big list of items on the screen for you. I'm not gonna read them all out because there is so many that I thought of, but feel free to pause the video or take a screenshot so you can refer to it. Now we've got quite a small kitchen, so I've decided to do it in sections. And the first one I'm gonna do is that section over there, which is all the utensils, knives, forks, some bags and some of the little miscellaneous items and I'm going to put them all on this table over here so I can sort them out. Next it's glasses and mugs, which isn't too bad in that cupboard, so I'll get those out and sort them out. Along with this cupboard, which has got all the flasks, some Tupperware, and the plates and saucers. I have now emptied all the glasses and mugs from that cupboard, all the plates and bowls from that cupboard over there. I also got out all the spare Tupperware that was in that cupboard, and it is now all on the table. And this is everything out of those cupboards. So all the glasses, cups, Tupperware, plates, bottles. There are a few items that I'm not gonna put into that pile because I know that I use them on a daily basis and they are a water jug, a slow cooker, my kettle, also my Nutribullet. Three of these ceramic pots, which I'm not putting on the pile because they're in use. And this has got soap, coffee grinds for the garden, and there's one over here with tomatoes in. And this is everything else from the rest of the cupboard. So all the pots, pans, trays, coffee pots, all the electrical appliances, jugs, baking equipment, and all the linens as well. So tea towels, chopping boards, placemats, and scales. Step two, go through all your items and decide if you want to keep it. Ask yourself some of the following questions. Does it work? When was the last time you used it? If it was over four or five months ago, toss it. Is it something that you only keep for special occasions and you really need to keep that in your life? Do you have duplicates? And if so, how many do you really need? Does it work and is it in good condition? I've gone through all the items in that drawer and not found too many things to get rid of because I use nearly everything, but I have done a recent declutter. So this is what's going. There are five teaspoons that are all spares. There's this avocado cover that we just never use. It was one of those gimmicky things. Some ties, a nutcracker that's a little bit broken. This is a prong to get things out of jars. A whole bunch of keys that have been in there forever. I've got no idea what they're for. And a seed that, was, that came with an item of clothing I got a while ago. So I'll plant that out in the garden. So that's what's going from those drawers. I've managed to get rid of quite a few more items from that pile. And a little tip, if you're a little bit unsure about something that you're getting rid of and you think you might want to use it again or you think that maybe in a month or two you might miss it too much, there is no harm at all in keeping that item. But what I would recommend is putting it somewhere separate to everything else. Put it in a box so it's out of sight. So you're not looking at it and wanting it. 
If you genuinely want it or genuinely need it, you can go back to that box or that area and get it and then carry on using it. And that's something I'm gonna do with these. I've got a bowl and a mug and I'm just not sure if I want it anymore, but I'm thinking, will I still prefer using the other things? So I'm gonna put them out of sight in a box somewhere. And if in say a month's time, I've not gone to them or not wanted them, then I will discard them then. These are all items I'm getting rid of that I just don't use anymore. Step three, once you've sorted everything out, decide where you're gonna put these items back. Clean that space, get it organized, get it all nice and tidy. Step four, put all the items back in their place. another job done so all the cups and glasses are in this one here and I have put all the plates away back and all the Tupperware now in that cupboard step five donate discard and recycle any items that are broken or damaged or in really poor condition just discard them any items that are left that are in good condition make sure to donate them now let's move on to food and drinks. If you're looking for somebody to tell you to be ruthless and get rid of lots of food and drinks that you've got in your cupboards or your home, it's not gonna be me. I'm just, I just hate waste. But what I can do is give you some hints and tips to help minimize or declutter some food that won't be so wasteful. So first things first, get all the food items out of your pantry, out of your cupboards or anywhere else that you stash them. I have a tendency to keep things in different places such as my desk drawer upstairs, my hiking bag and also some emergency food in my car just in case I ever break down. So go ahead and get all that food into one place. We can do the fridge separately, we'll just work on the cupboards for now. And now it is time to sort out the food cupboards and I have got one up here which has got all like the teas and the coffees and things like that in it. I've got one down here, I've got a drinks cupboard there and up there is my main food cupboard which has got all like the tins and the pastas and the baking supplies. So I'm going to get everything out onto the table and then sort through it. I have got everything out of the cupboards now and it is a little bit overwhelming I'm not gonna lie you don't realize how much you've got until it's all in one place it didn't fit on the table so I've spread it out throughout the whole kitchen so I'm going to show you what was in my cupboards now this section is all the cooking oils that I've got and there's a few extra ones here that I haven't used for a while that were at the back so I know I can straight away start using some of these up We've got tinned goods there, some tortilla wraps that, and some pizza bases. Here is a load of couscous, wheat gluten, pearl barley, whole wheat noodles. Then we've got a bit of a baking section with almonds, ginger, goji berries, walnuts, cranberries, <laughs> lots of raisins and a few other ingredients there. So garlic and some vanilla extract and almond. I've got some soya chunks, some stuffing, sugar, corn flour egg replacement and then a whole load of baking goods there so that's all that section and this is the rest of the kitchen that we're working with over here so this is all the drinks so i've got a bottle of wine and some other alcohol i don't even know what that is it's been a while since i've looked at that got the multivitamins and some superfood powders there protein powders some drinks and cereal, some porridges, a whole load of herbs and spices and then at the back there is some some nuts, super green powder, chia seeds, mixed seeds, cacao nibs in there. This is what we were going to be taking on the Cleveland Way so I did a whole load of dehydrated food and this is a lot of it that's left over in these two tubs so obviously we're not doing that so that'll probably need looking at. Then over here are all the condiments so salt and pepper 
We've got uh, vegetable stock, mirin, white rice vinegar, cashew butter, peanut butter, molasses, uh, matcha powder, agave nectar, the usual kind of condiments and some nutritional yeasts, some random syrups that were bought as Christmas presents, I think, some liquid smoke, soy sauces, amino sauce, some gravy, <laughs> breadcrumbs, spare coffee, turmeric drink, more coffee, tea, and then this box has got loads of different types of teas in there. And then at the very back, there is some macaroni in there, noodles, a whole load of cashew nuts, and what's in that one? Brown rice. And that is everything. Step two is choosing what you want to keep. Now, keep everything that's in date if you can, as long as you like it and it's in good condition. Anything that's out of date, obviously discard it. I'm gonna put a couple of questions on the screen for you to think about. Is it in date? Do you like it? And will you use it before it goes out of date? I've always been someone that likes to shop depending on what's in my cupboards. And what I mean by that is if I'm creating a meal plan for the week, I don't like to create everything from scratch because I think it's a little bit wasteful and everyone has things in their cupboards that need eating up. So what I tend to do is make a bit of a list or check what's in the cupboards first and see what meals will work with those ingredients. And as I've been sorting out all this baking stuff here, I've come across some marzipan, which I didn't realise was in there. And I've just looked online and found out what on earth can you do with marzipan that isn't related to Christmas? And I found a recipe for some blueberry and marzipan muffins. So I think I might have a go at those because I've got some blueberries in. So that's a little challenge for later if I have time. But otherwise it's going okay. I'm finding most things all, all in date. So there's not gonna be a huge amount of things to get rid of. I am someone that absolutely hates waste. Um, but if I don't like something, I will pass it on or get rid of it. Um, but other than that, I will tend to probably just make sure that when I go shopping next, it'll be very minimal. So I can start using a lot of these items up because there is a lot more than I thought there was in the cupboards. Now I'm gonna be able to cheat a little bit on this next bit and that is the fridge section. So I recommend taking everything out of the fridge, giving it a good clean, checking everything is in date and then returning the items that you're gonna use that are in date and that you love back in again. Now I do this quite regularly, so I know everything in here is in date. I'll show you. I have got all the condiments up here that I use and some fresh mint, um, more condiments there, ginger, the milks and things at the bottom. I've got a couple of sauces at the back there, there's some mustard and some sauces for stir fry, some lime juice, some yogurts, coffee, fruit, some veggies and then that's the section where I keep tofu, Vitalite and then some cheesy spread type things, uh, more vegetables and even more vegetables and salad things. So that's all kind of organised and clean already. Step three, once you've sorted out all the food that you're gonna keep, you wanna be putting them all back in a nice clean area. So as always, clean out that space, get it all tidy and make sure that you're putting everything back in an organised manner. Finally finished sorting out all the food from the cupboards and there's a few different piles going on here and I've got a tip for you with your spices. When you have them all organised and neat and tidy, put them in alphabetical order so you're not having to search through cupboards for them. I just find this so much easier when you're reaching for them and I keep that in a cupboard so it's easily accessible. It makes me so happy having a nice tidy clean cupboard again. So organised. And the final step is to discard or donate. Any items that are out of date, put them into your food waste. Any items that are in date, put them to one side and donate them, whether it's to food banks or shelters, anything like that. It's all, somebody will always benefit from food that you don't want rather than just letting it go in the trash. So I hope this has been helpful today. If you want it to not become overwhelming in future or you feel like you've got too much food in your cupboards, shop based on what is in your cupboards, not on brand new recipes that are from scratch where you have to get a whole load of new ingredients. Work around what you've already got and kind of minimize your cupboards a little bit so you can get it under control. All the things that I'm getting rid of. So a couple of these are out of date. Um, I think the only thing that's in date is this pizza base thing, but we didn't like it last time we got it, so we're going to give that to somebody else. And everything else is out of date there. 
What I've also done is this section here is all food that's going to be going out of date this month or things that need eating up that have been opened. So I've kept them all separate and I'm going to put them in the front of the cupboard when I put them all back so I know that we need to use these up pretty quickly. And then over here is the food that's left over from the dehydrating when we were going to go on the Cleveland Way for, I think it was a couple of weeks ago, but obviously we haven't done that. These should still stay okay for the next couple of months, so I'm just going to keep them in the pantry. And these are the ones that will go out of date in the next month, so we need to eat these up. So I've taken those out and we'll put them in our cupboard again. I have finally finished and these are all the items I'm getting rid of. And that's not a bad job. The whole table full of things are going. The only thing that is going in a separate place is just this mug and bowl, just in case I decide to keep it. And we are going to be dropping this off at a neighbour's house and breaking these up and taking them out to feed the squirrels. Other than that, everything else is getting discarded or donated. You should hopefully feel a lot more organised, a lot happier that everything in your cupboards are things that you like and that are edible and everything else is things that you use or you like. I think it has been a really busy day today for probably a lot of people, which is why again I've said I've done it on a Saturday. It's going to be an easy day tomorrow, so you will have time to finish off that kitchen if you haven't had a chance to do it all today. And I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow on Simplify Your Life. Goodbye! <laughs>